Are you ready to find out which dish you're going to have to master? Yes, yes sir. Sure. A delicious French fruit tart. A French fruit tart? I have very little experience with any type of pastry, and especially one that looks like that. The secret to this beautiful dessert is finding the perfect balance between several stunning components. First, the buttery pastry, which must be baked to a crisp and flaky golden brown. Secondly, a silky smooth layer of vanilla bean pastry cream, stirred to the perfect consistency. And to top it all off, a stunning arrangement of fresh fruit, all coated in a deliciously light apple glaze. The slightest misstep could end your MasterChef Canada journey. Please come up and have a taste. I'm from New Brunswick. I've never seen a French fruit tart at any of the bakeries that I go to. This is way out of my expertise. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really difficult to replicate. I'm not really as strong with dessert as I am with savory stuff, but you know what? I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna make a perfect pastry. It's gonna be art in a tart. Good luck, and please go to your stations. This is not gonna be an easy challenge. Seeing that so many strong home cooks are down there, it's gonna be a dogfight. At your stations, you'll find everything you need to replicate this delicious French dessert, and 45 minutes to do it in. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time starts now. I'm so nervous right now, and I'm not even cooking. This is on. I don't do pastry. I don't do pastry at all. I'm going to need a miracle today. Luckily, I believe in miracles. Making perfect pastry under a 45-minute time clock is never, ever easy. This is the first time two cooks are going home in a pressure test. You can cut the tension here with a knife. The pressure is huge. You know, this is a replication challenge. There are three major components to making this French fruit tart. The pastry, the pastry cream, and fruit. Today has to be a shining moment for me. Strategy here is to not make any mistakes. It's got to be perfect. Refined pastry crust is key. You've got to delicately work the pastry. They have to cook that pastry to perfection. If it's too thin, it'll break. If it's too thick, it'll be raw in the middle. A pastry cream, you have to whip up your egg yolks with the sugar, scald your milk and cream, and slowly cook it out. Then you can flavor it with your vanilla. You can't improvise with pastry. You either do it well, or it's a disaster. There's nowhere to hide. Come on up. Worried about David here? Dough is sticking. I'm looking at a mess. I keep on trying to pull it off. It's not working. This is horrible. I'm starting again. You gotta make it beautiful. It's gotta taste good. It's gotta look good. A lot of things to go wrong. John, how you feeling? Hey, chef. Feeling great, chef. I'm used to working under pressure. I love it. So who do you think's going home? Probably Andrew's going home. His nerves are getting to him. Who's the other one? I don't know. So it's not gonna be you, eh? Oh, no, it's definitely not. <laughs> I'm not going home. Well, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Andrew. Hello, Chef. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling super confident, but you know what? I'm not going out with a fight, so. A lot of your fellow home cooks after the team challenge seem very frustrated with you. Yeah. I, I feel guilty about that. So who do you think's going home? I think it's a possibility John might go home today. John, really? Yeah. I don't think he's going to pull it out? I haven't looked back. I'm running my own race right now, Chef. It's not my concern what he's doing. I just want to be better. All right, we'll keep your eye on the clock. Thank you, Chef. All right, good luck. Thank you. Final two minutes! This is really freaking intense, man. Feel me now, Hans. You're going home today. Oh, John is the first one to actually start glazing. You glaze the top of the fruit. It's got to be clean sheen. So it looks like glass. Good. 30 seconds! This is cutting it really close. Cody's not going to make it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heads up! Amazing. Relief. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna be okay. I'm looking over at the other people's. 
And I'm going, I got this. It's time to taste your French fruit tarts. David, the first thing that I notice is how high the fruit sits. It's as if the fruit just wants to sort of jump out. It looks great. Let's see how it cuts. Looks like some real craftsmanship there, David. Thank you. Thin crust, and to get the pastry that even all the way. It's a little finesse. Let's see how it tastes. A nice crispness to the pastry. The pastry cream could have been just a tad softer. The fruit, if you're gonna cut thick, have them all thick. That's the consistency, and yours has that consistency. All in all, quite impressive. Thank you, Chef. Andrew. Yes, Chef. How do you feel about this? <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud. Uh, this is something that is so foreign to me. You know, this is a mighty fine looking tart, considering you've done it in 45 minutes. I think it's a very good effort. I mean, it looks good. It looks very good. You have very nicely precise cut on your fruit. I try to get everything as uniform as possible. The crust is crispy, thin, it's even. But the, the pastry cream, unfortunately, it's a bland. I can't taste the vanilla at all. It lacks a little taste. Not so good. Lynn, how are you? Good, how are you, chef? Oh, look how exact that is. It's beautiful. You did not skimp on the pastry cream, did you? No, sir, because it tastes yummy. any faults in this tart. Thank you, Chef. You just keep getting better, Lynn. Thank the you. The crust is, I mean, it's like, it's like a machine did it. The cream is light, thin crust, and again, 45 minutes. I've never made one of these before ever, so I'm actually surprising myself every day that I'm here. Keep doing that, and you might land the biggest surprise. Thank you, Chef. <laughs>